Hey and welcome back to another Darkfall tutorial. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to remove some traffic from our movie clips. So this is the result you should get in the tutorial. And then you can go ahead and add some colour grading and maybe some camera shake as well. So I've got a couple of tutorials on that if you want to check them out as well. But the first thing we need to do is change this from the 3D view to the movie clip editor. And then we can go ahead and load in our movie clip. The movie clip I'm using, there's a link in the description, so you can go ahead and download that if you want to use it too. Uh, first, we want to set scene frames so it matches the movie length. So now we want to go ahead and prefetch this as well. If it doesn't prefetch all the way through, you need to go to File, User Preferences, and you need to change to System. And then go down here and increase this memory cache limit, and it should be fine. Okay, so now that's prefetched all the way through, we want to find a car that we want to... Um, make solo, make it on its own. So I'm going to choose this one here and all the others we're going to get rid of. So the first thing we need to do is create a back plate and we can do this with this movie clip. Um, if we see on the road here, if we just move a little bit more. So at this point here there's no cars. So let's render this image out and straight away we get this trouble here because it's the render layer so let's go to the node editor and let's just delete this. So you need to make sure you check use nodes and backdrop and then you can go ahead and delete the render layer. Shift A, add in a movie clip. And then you can add in a viewer as well and plug that in. Then you want to make sure you select the movie clip we've already loaded in. Like this. So now we can go ahead and press render and we can save that as a still image. So if we hit F3, we can save this image. So I'm going to save this in a folder so we know where it is later on. And I'm going to call this number one because we're going to need a couple of images. So we go back to the movie clip editor. And we want a point where there's no cars in this um, area around here. So let's just go forward. So this should work around here because there's no cars in the middle. So I'm going to again render this one out. Press F3. Just name this number two. Save that. So now I want to scrub through and find where there's uh, no cars on the horizon. So around here is good, uh, just before the car peeks into view. So we've got a clean area on the horizon, so let's render this one out. Let's name this number three. Now I might have some trouble with that red car over here, so I just want to maybe um, render another image. So press escape, move ahead. I'm going to render this image just in case the car was uh, in the way. So I might not even need this image, but I'm just going to save it just to be sure. So press escape. So I'm going to save this by pressing Ctrl and S. So I'm going to keep this loaded up, but I'm also going to load up um, Photoshop. So I'm going to start with this image since there's no cars on the horizon. Let's drag this into our Photoshop. I'm using GIMP, you can use any one you want. So now we need to go and bring in our second image. So let's bring in... We want the image where there's no cars in the middle, so let's drag this one. And instead of dragging it straight onto the, the middle, we want to drag this over here to the, to the layer editor. So we select the first image, right click and then add a layer mask and click add. So I'm going to just change the tool to brush mode. And then using the um, open and close brackets on your keyboard, you can increase and decrease the scale. So just increase the brush size, and then we can mask out these cars here. So around here we can see that this car starts to add since this is the layer underneath. So that's why we created the third image, um, so we can mask out this one. So it's the same thing, we just grab the image. So we need an image where there's no cars at the bottom of the screen. Grab this one. So I select the second image, which is one that has the car on it. Right click, add a layer mask. Add. And then we can go ahead and remove that car there, like so. And then we want to right click on these, and then we can merge visible layers. And click merge. And if you want, if there's anything else you want to get rid of, just click, uh, select the clone tool. Scale this brush down. Uh, and if we hit control and click, 
we can select the anchor point and then just um, clone out what we don't want to see. So then once you've finished with your backplate, we can go ahead and export this. So export as, let's rename this backplate. And we want to make sure we save it as a PNG or a JPEG. So it's entirely up to you which one you want to save it as. So now we have our clean plate, we can go back to Blender. And what we want to do now is add a mask. Switch this over to mask mode. Create a new mask and we can name this car if you want. So we don't need to worry about these cars at the start. We just need to find where the car comes into view. So around here we can see it popping into view. So just scrubbing through here, we can start around here. I'm going to press Ctrl and left click to add a point for this mask. So I'm actually going anti-clockwise and you should really go clockwise, but I can fix that later on. So now with the mask selected, if we click that red button at the bottom, we can add an automatic keyframe in. So every time we move this now, it will um, automat automatically add a keyframe. So we don't want to go frame by frame and animate all this because there's too far too many frames. Um, what we can do is jump 10 frames ahead or behind by pressing shift and up arrow. So I just want to jump 10 frames backwards and then move the press G to move the mask. Jump 10 frames backwards, G to move the mask. And just repeat the process until we, we don't see the car. So it's nothing too difficult, it's more time consuming than anything. And um, we don't have to do frame by frame which is good because uh, the mask should keep up. But it depends on how fast the object is moving, um, it might not be able to keep up. So keep that in mind. You want to keep going through and checking that the car stays within the mask, it doesn't go outside it. And obviously since the car is coming closer to the camera you need to increase the scale of the mask. Now the mask's done, um, it's pretty simple, we can just jump over to the node editor and composite this together. So node editor, we already have um, our movie clip here, so if we shift A, color, mix, plug this in, shift A, input, and then go to image, we just want to load in the image that we created, that clean plate, plug that in in the bottom image, and then shift A, input, and then mask. Then we want to plug this into the factor. So then also we can select the mask. And then we need to um, refresh it for some reason, so it doesn't show up straight away. And also since I created the mask the wrong way around, I need to go to shift day. So I need to color, then invert. So now it works fine. Um, again, if you want to make sure you don't have to add an invert, just go clockwise when you add the mask. But that makes no difference. And there you go, you should have a solo car and no more traffic. <laughs> so going from loads of traffic to none. And it's not too hard, it was just simply making a backplate and then masking out the car itself. It's very simple to do. Then we want to go ahead and render this out. So make sure you select the output. And also the file type. H.264 is the one I use, but you can use any one that works for you. So now we can go ahead and hit render. So hopefully this tutorial helped, if it did be sure to give it a like, and as always, thanks for watching.